no matter where you're coming from, you guys know the building industry plays a really important role in this. So buildings use 40% of energy, about 70% of energy consumption, about 40% of our CO2 emissions, and about 14% of the potable water. So we're really affecting the environment in a lot of ways. Why you guys are here and why you're getting this demand is we're seeing the business benefits of this. And that's the underlying line. I want you to know how to talk to clients and why this is coming up so much. Lead categories. So we're going to go through each one of these one at a time, really focus on a category and then move on. So that's how we're going to move through the day. So we're going to start with sustainable sites, move into water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, big one, and materials and resources, and then indoor environmental quality. That's something I did wrong studying. I had flashcards and I was making sure that if you asked me, what's SS credit 7.1, you know, I could pull it up on the spot. It's in the question. So every question's in paragraph form and the credit will be integrated within the question or be spelled out as one of the options as an answer. You'll never see SS credit 8 without the fact that it's light pollution. Another thing to point out with this is just seeing how much extra information they put in this question. The only thing you needed to know was the last sentence. Which of the following standards applies to SS prerequisite one construction activity pollution prevention? The rest, you're distracted by is 55,000 square feet. What does that apply to? Why are they mentioning that? You have to get used to the fact of weeding out this extraneous information that they put in the questions. That's really important. And that's part of the reason you need to know the information so well. Because you have to go, oh, I see what they're doing. You know, they're just asking me for this standard. There are four credits that relate to alternative transportation all clumped together underneath this one theme. So basically the intent for all of them is to create a transit oriented community, reduce pollution from auto use, reduce land de development from auto use, so less parking structures and all the infrastructure that's necessary for automobile use. There is innovation design point available for each credit by having a comprehensive transportation management plan. So remember that for each one.